Okay. I've had a lot of questions asking for more detailed information on the grow station. I thought the easiest way to do it is I'll just do a quick live. I won't take any questions during it. I'll just outline everything and then I'll be able to post it. People can reference back to it. So let's get started. In my dining room, I have this four foot wide metal shelf from Target. It is $80. I, you can adjust the shelves to whatever heights you want. So you could have one short shelf, one really tall shelf. I have mine pretty evenly spaced at 17 inches. I'm 16, 16, 13 and three quarters. So you can space them however you want. I have two grow lights. They're not grow lights. I have two lights per shelf. The top shelf has LEDs and the other shelves have fluorescence because those are what I've had for forever. These are all shop lights from Home Depot and Lowe's. If some of these fluorescent lights crap out, which they've lasted a really long time, I will purchase these LED lights. They probably run between $25 and $30 and they come with the bulbs in them. The fluorescent lights, I don't even think they sell them anymore and they did not come with the bulbs in them. All right. All my lights are attached with pulleys so that, well, I don't want to do it on that one here. So I can raise and lower the lights easily. What I like to do is I like to put plants of the same height on the same shelf so that the lights aren't cattywampus. So I'll put really short plants down at the bottom, the really tall ones go at the top. That's just how I do it. All right. I have inexpensive heat mats that fit 10, 20 trays off of Amazon. On this shelf, I'm gonna actually pull you guys closer. Let's turn it around. All right. On this shelf, I purchased on Amazon, you can get them Home Depot, Lowe's. It is a power strip with lots of outlets. The great thing about these LED lights up here is that they link. So if you had an entire shelf system of all of these LED lights, you would end up only having one plug to plug in at the end. All right, so the heat light, the heat mats and the lights all plug into this strip, which then plugs into a simple outlet timer. And if you need a three prong adapter, those are like 50 cents at Home Depot and Amazon. Let me turn it around again. Okay. I keep at the grow station a plastic jug of water to make it easy to water and a spray bottle. And that's it. That's it. 